Good morning. Today is February 1st. It is about 6.29 a.m. For those who don't know me, my name is Stephen Matthew. I'm a freshman here at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. And today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a day in my life as a computer engineer. First up, we're gonna meet with our boys, Samir and Brian, and we're gonna do a leg workout at the ARC, or Activities and Recreation Center. So, let's get going. What's up guys? I'm with my boys Samir and Brian. We're What's about up? to hit legs, so let's go. Usually in the beginning of the semester, the ARC is pretty packed. However, as the semester goes on, people stop showing up and there's a lot more available rack space. We start off with a solid 10 on each side of the bar. We were mainly focusing on technique because both Brian and Samir were pretty new to squatting and I needed some improvement on my squatting form. All right, Brian just challenged me to hit 25 on each side and then he'll do a muscle up. So this is for you, Brian. <laughs> Damn, look at that, look at that form, look at that form. It lowered a bit. That's clean. That's beautiful, bro. Yes, sir. All right, now Brian has to do the muscle up. <laughs> Let's go, bro. My boy. Yes, sir. We were running short on time, so we ended off the workout with leg extensions. We worked up to a plate, and it was really struggling at the end, but it was light work for Brian. He was chilling. All right, bro. We just finished our workout, hit legs day, and we got uh, Charlie and Will. They're working out as well. So I'm about to head to my first class, and see you guys later. Before I continue the video, let me give a little background at the five classes I'm taking here at U of I. First up is ECU 220, Computer Systems and Programming, which focuses on computer runtime stack analysis, encoding in LC3 assembly, C, and C++. Next up is ECU 110, Introduction to Electronics, which is all about circuit analysis. After that, we got Physics 211, Mechanics, which goes over kinematics, momentum, and rotation. For math, we got Math 231, Calculus 2, where we are learning about improper integrals and diverging and converging series. Last, but definitely not least, my easiest class, Religion 110, Introduction to World Religions, which gives a basic understanding of all the major religions, in other words, a super easy gen ed. Now, let's head over to my EC 110 lab. It's about eight o'clock and we are inside the ECE building main auditorium. And it turns out that my class only starts at nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna study for like 40 minutes-ish and then we'll head over to class. All right guys, so we made it to the first class of the day, the ECE 110 lab. Here we am with Noah. We have Michael over here. What's up? And we got Sean. What's up? How are we feeling about the lab today? Feeling good? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to build a circuit, and then after that, we're getting tested on a lab practical. So I'll include a time lapse of everything that we're doing here. This ECU 110 lab was near the start of the semester, so the circuits we built were pretty simple. Here's a couple circuits that we needed to build on this day. This lab is my longest class, and it's basically three hours long. Specifically on this day, we had an in-person circuit building test by our instructors. It was super out of the blue, so I was a little nervous, but I was able to get the circuit done with no issues. All right, it is 11.24 right now. I just got out of my EC110 lab. It's usually supposed to be two hours and 50 minutes, but because we finished early, we got it in like two hours. I have around 
36 minutes until my physics lecture. So right now I'm gonna go to Loomis Laboratory where the physics lecture is and we're just gonna study a bit before lecture. All right, see you there. All right, so we just made it to the Physics 211 lecture. I'm here with my boy Carl, and it's about, gonna be about 50 minutes, and I'll talk to you afterwards. In this physics lecture, we were mainly going over how the force of friction acts on a box. We also briefly talked about the forces acting upon an Atwood machine. I can't even tell you how much I hate physics. Like, it actually sucks. So if you can get it done in high school through AP credit, please get it done in high school. All right, so it is 12.49, just finished the physics lecture, and now I'm gonna go to my math 221 or 231 lecture in David Kinley Hall. It's about a five minute bike ride away, so I'll take you guys there. What up guys, we made it to Cal 2. I'm with Kian and Ty, so we're gonna have an awesome time not knowing what's going on, so. Yeah, let's hope. Talk to you guys later. In this calc lecture, we are reviewing integration through partial fraction decomposition, which sounds hard, and actually it's kind of hard, but thank goodness the professor makes the study guys just like the test. So everything usually ends up okay, usually. I'm with my boy Colin right yes, now. Sir. We just finished the math lecture and I'm about to head back to my dorm so we can eat some lunch. So we made it back to the dorm. I have my lunch right here. I would usually eat in the dining hall, but because I got here after two, the dining hall closes. So I had my friend Alex get it for me, my roommate. So here I have lunch. I'm just gonna take a break, relax. I have about 20 minutes until my next class, which is the final class of the day. So I will talk to you guys then. I was supposed to film my bike ride to my last class of the day in the ECU building, but at this point, my GoPro died. So yeah, here we are in the EC220 lecture. It's a whopping 80 minutes, which doesn't sound too bad if you're not in college. But when you get to college, any lecture over 50 minutes becomes unbearable. Anyway, in this lecture, we were getting an introduction to C programming, going over the different functions such as if else, do while, for loops, and a bunch of other functions. We also were given exercises to print a certain output in C. We have quizzes almost every week for EC220 on coding, so it's super important that we have these concepts down before the quiz. If you are coming into copy and have no coding experience, I would highly recommend you start looking at all that stuff before you get here because they don't teach you that well. We are once again at the bike racks of the ECU building. I just finished the ECU 220 lecture. That was an hour and 20 minutes. Honestly, I was falling asleep. The professor is not the best, but um, yeah, now I'm done for the day. It's been a long day. So I'm going to go back to the dorm, just relax for a bit. And then after that, I'll be going to meet up with some friends to complete an EC220 group project that's due tonight. So, yep, back to the dorm we go. All right, so it's been about an hour. It's 5.44 right now. And I'm meeting up with my two project mates, Steve and Riley, and we're going to be working on one of our EC220 projects today. It's due at 10 p.m., so we got a lot of stuff to do. All right, we are here in 7 North Lounge with Riley What's and up? Steve over there. We're gonna be grinding this project, hopefully to be finished by dinner time around 7, so let's do it. Although most of EC220 focuses on C and C++ programming, the beginning of the class starts off with coding an LC3 assembly. In this machine project, which we just call MPs, we needed to build a functioning calculator using assembly. 
Coding in general requires so much testing and debugging that you gain a whole lot of patience just from being a programmer. All right, so we just finished two and a half hours of coding and now it's dinner time. I'm eating with the boys. They're all studying, but I'm gonna be chilling out just for a bit. So I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> what up guys, it is 9.46 p.m. I just finished eating dinner and then I came up to the Three North Lounge where they're having a Bible study. Unfortunately, I missed most of the Bible study, but I came to the end. So we have Alex here, Josh, Celia, Joel, Graceland, and Hannah. So, how did Bible study go? That's pretty good. Pretty good? It would have been better if you were here the whole time. Okay, Josh, I'm gonna <laughs> cut that out. Rather <laughs> fruitful. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite good. good. It was and fun. Nice. The time is 10.52. Just spent a bit of time relaxing with friends at the Bible study and then taking it easy afterwards. But have about an hour to finish this EC 110 assignment. Let's do it at midnight and then I'm gonna be finished for the night. So I'm gonna get to work grinding on this and I will check in with you guys later. All right, the time is 12 a.m. I just finished all my homework for the day and I'm gonna go to bed. But before I go to bed, I just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there. Not every day as a computer engineer is like this. There are a lot of days where you have more free time, so please take advantage of that. For me personally, Monday and Friday are a lot more free, but as you saw, today is my busy day, so it's super packed. With that, I'm gonna go to bed, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Make sure to smash that like button, comment on this video, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.